Yo, what is up you guys? This is Godson and welcome to my very first episode of Fortnite where I will be playing this. I have asked a lot of you guys on my Twitter and uh, did a poll and a lot of people said that they would prefer seeing Fortnite, see me play the game and I did buy it. I've been playing uh, this actually for I think three days. This is my third day and I'm still a beginner, still getting used to this and having a ton of fun playing it. But you guys, I thought I'd do one video on my channel to see if you guys are open to me playing this on here or would you rather see more Clash of Clans and Clash Royale and maybe just do this on my second channel. So we're gonna do a little test run and see how you guys feel about this video and we'll go from there. But as you can see, I'm gonna be voicing over this gameplay and talking to you about uh, the aspect of this game if you are new to it if you've never seen it before if you've never played it it's basically a third person shooter um how can i describe this it's a third person shooter i automatically thought it was like years of war the uh, camera and everything the way you shoot weapons are a lot different and you will basically in this game it's like survival uh you have a hundred people on the map and you're all trying to gather weapons, trying to get supplies, and get stronger so that you can make it to the end of the match. And the way that's determined is if you're able to survive long enough to make it to the middle because there's a storm that's coming. And storm, uh, see, it shows right there, it shrinks. And, well, actually it expands. The, the storm gets bigger, but the map shrinks. So you have to all gather up to the middle of the base or the middle of the map and then uh, they put you against all the other players that have been surviving long enough so that whoever is the last man standing wins. So you can't stay in the storm. If you stay in the storm, your health depletes and you die. So make sure you grab all the stuff you need and then make it to the end of the match. Take out the last guy. And if you're the last one standing, you win. So as you can see, I'm just going to be running through all of these... Um, these cabins trying to grab stuff this is probably my favorite part of the map this is I believe it's called lonely lodge tons of chests tons of weapons here for you to get set up and of course I like taking my shotgun so you will notice like in the game there's different colors of weapons different colors of items and so I'll try and go down the list of what I've learned so far gray is the weakest and then the next color would be green, which is a level higher than that, which means your item and weapon will be stronger if it's green. Up from that, I believe, is purple. And then next will be blue. And then gold is the strongest color that you can have. So if you find a gold gun and a gold item, make sure you grab those. They're very good, very rare to find. And then you'll be very good. You'll be able to take out your enemies pretty quick, even if they have shields. So this is the building part of the game. You build walls. You build uh, you build walls to basically protect yourself, to get items, and to move around the map more freely. And as you can see, I'm just running in here. I'm going to be grabbing as many chests as I can because you want to you want to try and get some good colors. That's a good shotgun. Green shotguns. That's all you really need. Green shotguns are like two shots, and these guys are down. Those are grenades. And I just try and gather as much items as I can and then make it towards the end. See if I can survive this. Oh, there goes a golden chest right there. Though You get the golden chest, you have to break walls down to get to it sometimes. And then you should be good. Break those down, and then you'll be able to get more items. Health pack, crossbow, don't really need any of that stuff. Um... As you can see, when you're walking around, you can kind of hear the chests. You know what I mean? You can hear the chests. If you hear it glowing and stuff, then that means it's nearby, and then you can spot it. Good. Got those bandages. Okay, so I should be almost good to go. Now, I think I got pretty much some good weapons here. Now, I can just go farm and get some bricks and wood. Bricks and wood, you, you can get these by chopping down trees and rocks and whatever you find on the map. Uh, that can help you stock up and get your items so that you can uh, basically build and protect yourself and move around. Um, it is a little difficult with the the gameplay. Is like, this is basically two separate types of gameplay. You have your building aspect and then you have your shooting 
engagement aspect. So like when you're shooting people, that's a different type, and just putting them together is insane. So it's it's very advanced. I believe this game is very advanced to be good on this game. It, it's a, a challenge, but very very nice challenge. Very challenging and very fun as well. So as you can see, I have uh, pretty good stuff. I have my shields, I have my health packs, and I have my weapons. And now I'm going to try and see if I can farm a little bit, get some more of these wooden bricks, wood and bricks, so that I can be better at my engagement. Oh, there we go. little launch pad so that I'm able to fly. Now the hard part, this is what I've learned so far. Um, when you engage people, you could die super quick in this game. So you have to be ready when you hear people's footsteps, when you start getting shot at, you have to be ready for that. If you're not, then you're going to be trying to figure out what to do, and you don't, you won't know what to do, and then you'll just be stuck, and you might get down, you'll go down pretty fast, so you have to be ready. Like, I've always taught myself, if I hear somebody walking near me, or if I hear, or if I get shot at right away, immediately, I just put out my walls and protect myself. I put up a wall and then just build around myself, get a box going, and then just try and set up so that I can figure out what's going on and who's around me. Because nine, nine times out of ten, if you hear some footsteps, they probably see you before you see them. And you don't know where they're at. So I don't even look around. I don't try and engage. I just build and protect myself. Go on defense right away and then go on offense once I get my shields back and everything's going. So I try to really just be very precautious. All right, so I'm looking pretty good. I've got both uh, bricks and I've got wood. I'm actually going to get set up here because I think I heard somebody. I thought I heard someone. Or did I? Most likely I did hear somebody. Or you know what I'm doing right here? Okay, now I remember. I'm actually like testing my building skills because I'm still new to the game. And I'm trying to figure out, like, how do you edit? I couldn't understand this. Like, what? I was doing it completely wrong. I was trying to tap it, and it was a trigger. And you guys have to bear with me in this match because I didn't know how to edit. Once I built it, you can edit it and make doors. You can make uh, archways. You can redesign your walls by editing it. And I'm still trying to learn this stuff. I was hitting the R3 button, and you're supposed to hit trigger. So I was trying to figure out what's going on here. And that's pretty much what cost, cost me most of the match. But now I'm going really high and I'm trying to do a launch pad. So I can get out of the storm. And it doesn't fling me up high enough. And I just ended up flying right back down. <laughs> back where I started. So I probably should have built it a lot higher. And then did it from there. But that was actually the, the first time I used a launch pad. Um, and so I, this whole match is just a learning match for me. And that's basically what you guys are going to have to do. You're going to have to learn the game type. You're going to have to learn how to survive and how to use this stuff. Because it's a lot of controls. A lot of uh, things that you're going to have to be doing in here. But it's very fun. Once you guys get this down and you understand what to do, then you're good to go. So we'll just treat this as like, we'll treat this video as like a let's play. Let's play series. This is my first video. And, uh, of course, your characters are always random unless you buy a costume in the store. You'll always be different types of characters, females and guys. And I think even when you buy a costume, uh, your axe changes as well. The pickaxe that you're starting with, it changes to something else depending on the character you have. So I'm just going to run around here and see if I can grab some stuff before I leave the storm. Oh, okay, well, actually, I left the storm, and now I'm going to heal up. I'm in cover. You never want to be outside of the map, or you, you never want to be out in the open trying to do this because people can see you, and you if you're standing still, you will get shot. So be very careful what you do out in the open. Make sure you build some walls and get in cover and protect yourself. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just farming right now. I'm getting all my bricks and woods. And you see the storm right there? All that purple is you got to stay out of that. And it shrinks. So the timer's right there. I have 43 seconds, and then it's going to start shrinking again. And I have to keep moving towards the center of the map. 
So I'm just making sure that I have my bricks ready to go. I see somebody building right there. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I'm always careful when I see other buildings like that. I'm like, oh man, there's somebody nearby. I crouch and that silences your footsteps. Crouching like that makes your footsteps a little quieter so they can't hear you running nearby. And it also, I believe it also improves your aim. So here we go. We're working our way down. I'm thinking like, oh man, there's probably somebody around here. I'll just keep a lookout. Always keep a lookout because there's snipers in the game and they could take you out pretty quick. And I really don't have a good weapon right now. I have this gray assault rifle and it's not very good. If they have shields, at least, uh, it's not going to really do me any good. So the storm is now on the move and I have a minute to get to that, to get to that center there. And it says there's um, it says there's actually a few people left in the map. So we're going to have to hold this. We're going to have to survive this, man. Somebody build a bridge for me. So there's, you have to be careful too. If you go inside building and start looking around, you can run into a trap. And you have to watch that as well. There's traps everywhere. There's stuff, lots of, whoa, golden gun. Probably better than what I had, but I didn't want to risk it because that's more of close range and I don't really want to risk close range stuff. I got to have a long range weapon. So the storm's coming up. Oh, and it passed me. Okay. I got to run for another 19 seconds to get to that core. Being in the storm is not that bad. It's safe, kind of, you know? It's a little safe. You won't really encounter too many people Actually, you won't really encounter a lot of people in the storm. I felt like, whoa, somebody's shooting. What is this? Maybe there is somebody in the storm. Maybe that guy died. Okay. He must have died. So you can get your health back. As you see right there, my health is depleting as I'm in the storm. And if you let it deplete, then you'll die. So you got to have some health packs with you just in case. And then I look back and somebody did die back there. All of this stuff was over there. I should have checked that, but I didn't realize it. I was just trying to get out of the storm. So we have a minute and 30 seconds until the storm moves again, and we got to stay with it. All right, we're good. Now I just start, I start worrying here. I'm like, oh man, maybe somebody sees me. I'm ready to build just in case. And this is where I start. Oh, dang, somebody saw me. Okay, start building. And then I get set up here. I make sure all these cracks and stuff are... Let's see, I'm having a hard time building. Ugh, there we go. You want to build a tower and make sure you're protected. Still learning how to build. Building is very tough. If you have stuff in the way as well, you're going to have a hard time building. So I just like, okay, I got my tower going and I'm waiting, making sure nobody sees me. If they do, then I'm gonna be in trouble. Heal up, oh, somebody's here. Switch to my shoddy. Where are they at? I don't see them. Oh, they're building, they're trying to come to me. Oh, it's a chick, hey! That went nowhere. Took her out, I just started aiming finally. I was like a little scared, like, oh dang, they're in. Oh, snap. Start building. Start building. Okay, and I get in cover. Like, I couldn't build right here. The tree was in the way. This is the worst time for me to have a tree in the way. So, that's the best cover I can get. <laughs> I couldn't do anything else, you guys. I was stuck. Okay, so I switched, and I started healing. Putting on my shield. The blue things right there, those are your shields. You drink those, and then you get shield back. And you have to drink the big one to get even more shield. What, the guy's coming. Oh, switch to my shotty. One shot, two shots, got him. I was so lucky. He was in a good position for me to take him out. And then I got his weapons, really good. He actually had a grenade launcher and a scar, that purple weapon right there, that's a really good gun. One, I think one of the top, if not the best guns in the game for damage and accuracy. So I got my health back, full health. He didn't even touch me. And I think that's uh, pretty much all I can do. So the rest of the map, 
the rest of this, uh, you guys, I'm still learning to build. So I'm trying to figure out like, how do I build? It's a whole different area, whole different uh, challenge. So I grab that. And now I just have to survive. I just have to find the last guys and then take him out. And then I should be able to make it. I'll be the winner. So it says there's like, uh, how many people are left? There's like five people left. Uh, and the storm, there's two seconds left. The storm's going to be on the move. And it's coming closer. So if you are the last guy, you win. But you have to find people. And people, that's the hard part. People do camp in this game. <laughs> they even have a bush for you as an item. You can stay in the side of a bush. And you can camp inside that. So hilarious. I don't like campers. So I hear some gunshots. I'm trying to figure out where is this coming from. This must be one of the other guys. There's four people left. Switching between bricks. Build my little fort here. Make sure nobody can get me. But they can come on top, though. That's the thing. I hear gunshots. He's around here somewhere. I'm just going to keep building my way up. See if I can find him. Oh, damn and I got trapped. Okay, see, that was the part. That was a bad thing. Now I'm trying to edit, and I can't figure out how do I edit. I was doing R3 the whole time. It really cost me the whole map. I just finally got some practice in. I learned it's trigger. All right. So people are really going going at it, and I got to figure out how to, I can see these guys. Where are they? Oh, you know, and then I notice he must be on top of me, so I'm a sitting duck right now. I have to get out of here. If he sees me, I'm done. I kind of panicked right here. I notice there's a guy above me, and if he can see me, then I'm done for. I build a roof and just protect myself. Oh, okay, they found me. They found me. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I just get scared. I just like, oh, I'm trying to build and I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm so scared. This is a scary game if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Whoa. I was just like, okay, just don't fight me, please. And I've gotten a lot better now. I understand how to build and how to uh, get out of these sticky situations like this. So, and you know, if you have a weakness, this is even in life. If you have a weakness and you don't take care of it, it could be your downfall. So my weakness, this, this gameplay was not knowing how to edit your buildings. And it cost me. So I just break out and I try and get out of here. Whoa, he found me. I'm out. Now I understand when you're falling like this, you can actually build um, walls to prevent you from falling too far. But I don't, I think I actually may have ran out of bricks and I couldn't catch myself in time. And it cost me right here. And that was the match. You saw I was trying to click and stop myself from dying, but it didn't come out and I died. And I placed second. So dudes, that was my first uh, serious gameplay right there. I've done some improvement. If you guys like this and you want to see more of this, me getting more top positions, let me know in the comment box. Thank you guys for watching this Fortnite video, and I will see you next time. Gutsin out.